In order to find more customers on the web, your online presence will require some effort. You'll need to upload merchandise photos, write descriptions, set prices, explain the delivery method, and so forth. There are many platforms from which to choose, each with their own unique time, effort, and monetary investments. The benefits and returns will also vary. You'll need to make decisions, like how much control you'll want over the site's appearance, and if you're willing to share a percentage of your profits with a platform. For example, if you choose to create your online presence in a photography platform, you may have less control over things like color, text layout, and how your company logo is displayed. You'll also be bound by the terms of service and the policies of that platform. If you choose to make a separate website for your business, it will require more effort. But you can decide exactly how everything will look, and you will have more control over what content you choose to provide. For some platforms, such as Google My Business, you can do everything yourself, from displaying your address on a map to adding a photo of your shop. However, adding these features to a custom website may require help from an experienced professional. But where do you even start to find the right person to help? Web designers and developers often have online portfolios. Look through their portfolios and see if they have built user-friendly, good-looking websites that you like. Make sure to open these sites on your phone. Do they load fast? Is it easy to order products? Once you've found web designers or developers that meet your standards, get in touch with them and narrow down your list. Once you've found someone to work with, you'll need to meet and review the content and structure of your site. How many pages should it have? How will users click from one place to another? Always make sure to clearly explain your goals, as we covered in the last video, so the developer knows exactly what you want to achieve. This process can take anywhere from a few weeks to a few months, and features like shopping carts and payment processing may add to development time. Make sure to test everything with people you trust. Does your website look good and function correctly across devices and browsers? Keep in mind, your site will need to be updated on a regular basis, and you may need to add information about new products during periods of technical maintenance. So make sure your developers will be available to maintain your site and add new content into the future, or that they teach you how to use the tools so that you feel comfortable doing this yourself. And now, your site is live, but the work is just getting started. Be sure to check out the next episode understanding Google search, and don't forget to subscribe.